how to set up Wix email. Hello guys and welcome to this new tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how you can set up your Wix professional or business email. It is very easy and very simple. All you have to do is to follow up the tutorial from the beginning till the end and you will be good to go. The first thing that you need to do is to visit Wix.com. Then you need to create your own website. Click on create a new website or new site from here and as you can see I have built multiple websites or three of them at least. Now all you have to do is to select that website and click on select and edit. Right there it will take you to the dashboard of that specific website. Now each website is individually um, set apart and also all the settings if you apply any setting on this website or this website editor right there it will not apply for the uh, next or the other website because each one of them is separately set once you have accessed or make the access to the uh, wix uh, editor right there or the wix dashboard of that particular website that we have selected i repeat myself we have selected that website you are going to see this platform or this dashboard we have these steps that we haven't finished yet. As you can see, we have seven vital steps to set everything in order. So you need to complete all of these from update your business type, connect a custom domain, add your first service, set your working hours, add design your website, which is very easy. Click on edit site and you will be seeing the website itself. Get found on Google. And finally discover Wix Enterprise. This is the most easiest one. Now click on explore and boom, this set is uh, going to be uh, checked. Now, after you have set everything, this is a custom domain. So we need that I think for the business email. And now we can see right there, we have a free plan. This is the website. We can connect a domain to it and no business email. We can also connect a domain to it. So we are not going to click on this, but we are going to go to the left side menu bar right there, it's here, which is scrollable, obviously. We're going to see right there the customers and leads. Now we have a, a menu pop-in, which has contacts, forms and submissions, community, loyalty program and business emails. I'm going to select the business email from here. Now it will show me normally the settings or also how to connect my business email right there. Now we have the page of the uh, business email uh, loaded. And as you can see, you are going to build trust with a professional email address. This is very necessary. This is the example of the uh, professional email. I will have from hello, for example, or your name at yourdomain.com. For example, jack at smiths.com or jacksmithscompany.com. Now you can get an email address at your custom domain and get more done with Google's pursuit of workspace tools. Choose from popular usernames like this. We have info support your name right here and your domain name. You're going to connect a domain for this. This is necessary and a must. So click on connect a domain and it will help you create a domain. Either you go ahead with the Wix suggestions right here. We have domain.com, the online, dot shop, blog, design and tech. Or you can go ahead and see a host like Namecheap. It is very uh, common and used for get in at these domains and as you can see here we have a lot of free domains and also uh, cheap plans this is a private email so this is a professional email we have hostinger which is very well known and you will see the ads for it everywhere on youtube also we have godaddy which is also very known and very old and i have used in my uh, domain here a overview right there uh, from Cloudflare I think I don't remember or remind myself using this but I have only this one because I have used it to connect my Shopify store so we are going to try and set this one I'm going to copy and paste it and click on 
let's go maybe it will read that domain and we are going to connect it maybe who knows we are going to see I uh, yes I own is taken yes I it is upgrade your site with a premium plan to connect your domain here we have the uh, traditional way to attract customers for the website or Wix website you need to upgrade your plan which is our uh, free plan right there so we need a premium plan to get this domain set or you can get a domain from here on any of these like that you are going to upgrade and get a free a one year free domain voucher and here we have it now when you finish getting your email professionally you are going to send some emails and how you can do that we are going right there to the contacts set up your contacts or get some contacts forms and submit them how you can create contacts either you can go ahead and create them manually or import them in bulk within a XLS file which is Excel or Google Excel or you can create new right there click on contact or get a segment also you can import them right there or on bulk now I'm going to let you see how we can add a contact I'm going to create it manually and add a contact in front of you we are going to add a name here we are going to add for example Jack last name Smith this is the name that I always use on my videos or all my contacts I'm going to set the primary name for that contact as Jack Smith at gmail.com a little disclaimer guys everything created in this video such as email addresses accounts are created for the sake of the video and not for any personal uses so keep that in mind and create your own accounts primary phone number you are going to set the type of it mobile phone or etc put the code right here we have the all nearly the uh, all the country codes and the phone uh, now we have here the address you can put a address for example home address and label we can add a label I contact a customer or contacted me for example a customer the assignee assigned to me or unassigned and you can add a new field for example email phone and a LinkedIn location etc when you finish you're going to click on save if you want to create another click on save and create another one now we have the contact created and congratulations now we can also go ahead and create a form and submissions for example for the forms we have a lot of types we have sign up forms or we have some templates here we can create some form create a form right there and you will see the multiple form that Wix contain right there the internet connection is a little bit slow so please bear with me now we have the first name last name email for example this is a drag and drop menu you can set this form I'm going to set this as a maybe a sign up form right there we can add an address company name position uh, the tax ID or something like that you can add a file upload but this is a premium feature signature and etc and when you finish that you are going to click on save and here we have our form set let's say that this is a uh, email or a contact or also a sign up form I'm going to back to the here we have the community right there after you have set the forms you can create a community right there and get the members from the contacts and finally we have the loyalty program which can be created within uh, the uh, here or you reward customers with a loyalty program it is a point program that will allow customers to earn some points and get some uh, gifts or special offers on the on their uh, membership or something like that that was all for today's video thank you guys for watching i hope that you have enjoyed the content and hope to see you soon on the next one